Hi everyone. Welcome back to one of the most interesting topics of Angular Grid, which is filtering. Are you working with a huge collection of grid records? So you might be looking out for a best way to filter and display the precise information out of the huge collection of grid records. If this is what you are looking for, then you are at the right video and keep watching it till the end to learn everything you want to know about the filtering options of grid. In this video, I'm going to explain about how to enable the filtering options of Angular Grid with which you can easily filter and retrieve the desired records. Along with that, I'll also list out the different filter types available on Angular Grid like default filter by UI, filter menu and Excel-like filtering options. You can also customize the filter UI by adding some custom components to it using the filter template options. So let's discuss about these items in detail now. I have opened my existing Angular application here which was created during the initial getting started video of Angular Grid. So if you want to know about how to add a simple grid component to the Angular application as well as how to bind data to it, you can refer my previous videos and I will also share its reference link in the below description part. And here I will import and inject the filter service from EJ2 Angular Grids package to start using the filtering options on Angular Grid. Now I'll open the app.component.ts file and here you can look at the Angular Grid code with its basic properties. To this Angular Grid, now I'm going to define the allow filtering property and set its value as true. Let me save these changes. This property will enable the filter bar UI on the Angular Grid. So I'll run my application now and here you can see the Angular Grid displaying the default filter bar and whenever I type in any of the text expression over here, say for example, I'm typing in the character A and clicking on the enter button, you can see the grid records here that are filtered based on the given column expression. Now in this filtering process, you can notice that the grid is ignoring the diacritic characters by default. Say for example, you can see here that the order ID 3 and 4 are displaying the diacritic characters and it is not returned in the filtered results whenever I perform filtering operation. So to include such diacritic characters while filtering, then I need to set the ignore accent property of grid and set its value as true. Let me tell you where to define this ignore accent property. As a first step, I need to import the filter settings model from EJ2 Angular Grids package and then I need to define a variable filter options of type filter settings model and assign the property ignore accent and set its value as true. Now I need to assign this filter options variable to the filter settings property of Angular Grid. Let me save this. And now when I type the character A and press the enter button, you can see the grid is displaying the records that has the diacritic characters. Now let me list out the filter operators that are supported on each grid columns. So the working of the operators mainly relies on the data types of column values. If in case the column includes the string values, then you can make use of the operators like starts with, ends with, contains, equal and not equal. If the data type of the column is either number or date, then you can use the operators like equal, not equal, greater than, greater than or equal, less than and less than or equal. And in the other case, if your column includes the boolean values, then the only allowed operators are equal and not equal. Although the filter by UI is most preferred to dynamically filter the records based on the given expression what we type in over here, you can also set the static filter conditions through code and make the angular grid to display only the filtered records at its initial load. To make this happen, I may need to set few filtering options on the required columns. Say for example, if I'd like to filter and display the grid records based on a condition, to fetch the records whose product name starts with the character A and the production column values starting with the character I, then I need to provide the predicate conditions for those columns by defining the columns property within the filter settings. So here you can look at the columns property where I have defined the production field to match the record starting with the character I and I have defined another column product name and provided the condition to fetch it when its value starts with a character A. And now you can notice the angular grid 
displaying only the filtered result at its initial load. Now let me proceed with the other filtering types available on Angular Grid. Apart from the default filter bar displayed on the grid UI, there are other filter types like filter menu, filter checkbox, and Excel-like filter. Now let me tell you how to define these filtering types through code snippet. I have commented this columns property now to proceed with the filtering types. So within this filter options object, I'm going to define the property type and set its value as menu. Now I'll save these changes. Also, I have already assigned this filter options variable to the filter settings property. So I'll directly show you the output now. So now you can look at the angular grid displaying the filter menu icon on every grid header columns. So when I set the filter type as filter menu, the filter menu UI will display its appropriate filter operators. So here the column product name is of type string. So the operators that are applicable for string type is displayed over here. And in this field, I can type in the applicable values and clicking on the filter button will retrieve the resultant records on the grid UI. In case if you want to replace this filter menu option with simple checkboxes to display all the applicable values of this chosen column, then I should replace this menu option with checkbox value. And now you can see the checkbox options displaying the applicable values of the chosen column. You can select the appropriate values from here and then filter the records based on the selection. Now there is another important filtering option which is Excel like filtering. Now I am going to replace this checkbox type with Excel and now when I click on the filter icon on the column header, you can notice all the applicable values are accompanied with the checkboxes and you can also choose the filtering options from the built-in UI. So if I select the not equal operator and choose this value, I'm clicking the OK button. So now you can see the filtered result. Now I have shown you how these filtering types like menu, checkboxes and Excel like filtering are commonly applied for all the grid columns. You can also set different filtering types for each column of a grid. Say for example, I can set the menu filter for this product name field, checkbox type for this order ID field and Excel like filtering type for this production field. To achieve this, I need to define the individual filter options on every column directive with appropriate filtering type values. So here I have defined a variable filter one of type filter settings model and set its type as menu. So now I'll assign this filter one variable to the filter property of product name column. So I'll define another filter option with checkbox and assign this filter to variable to the filter property of order ID column. And also to the default filter settings property, I have set the type as Excel. So other than the two columns, order ID and product name, all other columns will follow this Excel type filtering. So let me save this changes. And now you can notice the order ID column showing the checkbox type of filtering and the product name column displaying the filter menu and the other columns you can notice the Excel like filtering option. Apart from setting these default filter types, you can also customize the filter UI on a particular column with your own custom components by using the filter template option. The filter template option is applicable on all the three filtering types like menu, filter bar and advanced Excel like filtering options as well. So now let me show you how to add the custom components to the default filter bar UI of the grid. I'm going to remove the previously set filter types so that the default filter bar will be enabled on the grid UI. I'm also removing this filter settings property as well as the filter property set on the two columns. Now all is set and you can view the default filter bar UI displayed on the grid. Now you can notice the grid columns where a simple text box is displayed for the filtering purpose. But now I'm going to replace this text box on the product name column with the drop down list component. To start using the drop down component, first I need to install the EJ2 Angular drop downs package into my application by using the command ng add at syncfusion slash ej2 hyphen angular hyphen drop downs and simply hit the enter button so that all the necessary files of drop down will be installed, imported, and configured automatically into my application. Now you can notice the app module.ts file 
where all the modules present in the drop downs package has been imported and injected as i'm going to use only the drop down list module so i'm simply removing the other unwanted modules from this import statement as well as the imports array now all is set and i simply need to define the filter template option with this drop down component as i have planned to display the drop down list component for this product name column therefore i am going to define the ng template option with the filter template reference and within this template i'll add the drop down list component with the appropriate data source and fields option and also you can notice here that i have defined the change event for this drop down list so that whenever i select any particular value from that drop down list based on the selection i need to manually filter and display the resultant records on the grid first i'll set the fields property for this drop down list so here you can see i have defined a variable fields and assigned the product name field of grid and then i have assigned this fields variable to the fields property of drop down list next to define the data source i need to retrieve all the unique values from this product name field of grid for that i'm going to use the data utility which i should import from ej2 data package so i have imported the data util from ej2 data package so using that i am accessing the unique values of this product name column from the data source so this is what assigned to the data source property of drop down list now all is set and the only thing yet to define is the change event of drop down list so i'll define the on change method and within this method i need to access the public method of grid which is filter by column so before accessing this method i need to create the instance of grid component for that let me import the grid component from syncfusion ej2 angular grids package and then i'll add the reference for this grid element as grid1 now i need to make use of the view child decorator to access the instance so let me import the view child decorator from angular core package and within the app component class i have defined the view child decorator and created the instance for the grid component now using this instance i have accessed the public method of grid filter by column and passed the argument with the specific column name and the operator as well as the value that is selected from the drop down list so now all the required items are defined for the drop down list let me save all these changes now you can notice the grid displaying the drop down list component on the default filter by ui for this product name column from this you can select any of the values based on which the result will be displayed on the grid in the same way if i change the filter type to menu and also set that option to the filter settings property of grid you can see the difference in this output where the default text box within the menu pop up will be replaced with the given drop down list and from here you can select the required value from it and click on the filter option to display the resultant records on the grid ui now when i change the filter type to excel now you can notice the output where i'm clicking on the text filter and in this ui you can notice that the simple text box will be usually displayed here but it is replaced with the drop down list component so these are the major filtering options that are available with the angular grid now i'd like to summarize some of the important points which we have discussed in this video as a first step we have seen how to enable the simple filtering option on angular grid Following that we have seen the different filtering operations that can be performed on the grid using the available filter operators and then we have discussed about the different filtering types available on angular grid like the default filter bar ui filter menu and the advanced excel like filtering options and finally we have seen how to customize the filter bar ui with some custom components using the filter template options If you want to know more about the filtering options of Angular Grid, please look on to our online documentation page and the link for the documentation page I'll share in the description part below. Thank you for watching this video and if you find this video useful, click the like button and subscribe to our channel as well. Thank you.